Welcome back, Aries. This your girl, Heavy Sink. I want to thank all my subscribers. I truly appreciate y'all. Okay, Aries, this is going to be your love reading for the first half of May 2019. Y'all remember this read is general, and it's not going to resonate with everybody. All right, let me tap right in. Now, the main energy, Aries, for the first half of May, okay, is some type of clear communication, um, some type of confirmation, okay it's something where you see in the truth in a situation okay the situation could be dealing with something that has potential to get off the ground it's just about like starting something new wanting to do something different it's like something challenging okay but it's like good news dealing with maybe financial matters type shit okay it's some type of confirmation dealing with that also in the beginning of may okay it's about you having more fun you may need to have more fun okay you may have been in hermit stage where you don't want to be bothered you're trying to find yourself soul search or whatever okay you're trying to get wiser about a situation or whatever the case may be it's time to come out of that. You will be coming out of that in the beginning of May. It's like, okay, let me have fun. Let me enjoy my life. Let me live in the moment. Like, let me gather with friends, okay? It's just about that at the beginning of May. But what's most important, you get some type of confirmation, clear responses, clear communication. You could be cutting somebody out, but it's something dealing with some type of fresh start, a new beginning, new area. If this is making sense. All right. Now. For the month of May. Okay. Aries. It's about letting go of the past. It's like you may be putting the past behind you. Okay. Trying to put the past behind you. This is all dealing with. Maybe you were trying to offer to somebody. Okay, you're trying to offer to somebody, but somehow you made a final decision on this offer. Okay, maybe you gave this offer plenty of chances, like you offered this over and over and over. Somehow, somebody may have turned their back on the offer. Okay, they didn't want the offer. All right, it was like, you know what? Where is the offer? It's like, I can't even see the offer. You know what I'm saying? It's like that. And it's, it could be like a lot of mad games. I don't know. Somebody was playing mad games. Manipulation. This could be narcissist. A person stabbing somebody in the back. Jealousy, envy. Just a whole bunch of just fucked up shit. Okay? It failed. Whatever. Dealing with this offer. Okay? It was like, you know what? Let me make a final decision. Somewhere somebody may have got some type of light bulb moment. Okay, they was looking at something different, right? Now, somebody could be looking at this two different ways, okay? Because these cards came out sideways, so I have to read them both ways. Now, one of the ways what a person is looking at, okay? And this is dealing with, they may not even know where they stand, but they looking at it different, or somebody need to look at it different. One of the ways somebody could be looking at it like it is successful. Somebody could put somebody on a pedestal. school. It's like, okay, you know what? Let me give them a second chance. You know what? It is a, an attraction. The other one, somebody could have kicked the person off the pedestal like they don't deserve a throw. Like, you know what? I'm not giving nobody a second chance. This shit is getting delayed. Okay? So, I don't know which way a person is looking at it. But this is all dealing with past shit, though. Like... Somebody trying to get, somebody trying to put this behind them. If this is making sense, they putting this behind them. Now, now, now let's get to the situation, okay? Because the situation is a person, all right? The situation is a person who is very intuitive, emotional, okay? Loving, caring, will do anything for a person. That's the situation. Now, dealing with this person, emotionally, you could still be attached to this person, like, you you may want to walk away from this person, but you haven't walked away. Emotionally, you still 
connected to this person. Okay. Now, mentally, you may, like, try to cut this person out to your life. Um, maybe spoke some type of truth. This person may have spoke some type of truth about you. This person may have cut you out their life. But I feel like if you was to cut this person out your life, you can only cut them out mentally because it's like, okay, if this was like some type of air energy here, because this is the queen of cups in the situation. So this could be something dealing with a water sign. Okay. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right. Now, if this was a air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay, I understand you can cut this person out mentally, all right? You're dealing with a water sign. You may can cut this person out mentally where you stop thinking about this person, you stop communicating with this person, mental, like mentally, mental shit, you know what I'm saying? But emotionally, they got you. Okay, that's the element. So you may not be talking to them and you may not be thinking about them, but you still feel in a certain type of way. Okay, they got your heart type shit. They got your emotions. All right, because you invested in this person. So that's the situation. Okay, dealing with this person. Emotionally, you still attach. Mentally, you may be gone. Okay, you may not be thinking about them right now, but you feeling some type of way towards this person. Now, also dealing with this person, something has stopped coming full term with this person, okay? It was disappointing. Something was disappointing. That's what caused something not to... That's what caused this situation to stop growing, okay? It was some type of disappointment, some type of sadness. This could have been dealing with a past relationship. This person who is in a situation could be a soulmate. Um, This could be a situation where there's kids involved, Okay? That's what stops something from growing. It could be past relationships around this. Um, third party situations. I feel like that's what stopped it from growing. Okay. It it was some type of some type of past energy, past memories, kids involved. Um, some type of connection with a person. You could have brought somebody in a third party situation, but whatever this is, the person have gave up on this. Faith and hope. They gave up on it. That's what stopped it from growing. Now, sitting on this foundation, dealing with this person, dealing with this, you're trying to put this behind you. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to put this shit behind you. It's like not knowing where you stand. And that's like exhausting. Because you put time and you put effort and you put energy in. And to do all of that and you still not know where you stand with a person, it's frustrating. What else is sitting on this foundation once again, okay? You're still emotionally attached. Like, you don't even want to let this person go. You holding on to this person so tight, okay? From the fear of losing this person, all right? It's like the, they got this emotional attachment to you. They got you by your emotions. What else on this foundation is you had in your feelings. You had in your feelings. Okay. This person may wanted to seek the truth about how you really feel about them. And you could be hiding those feelings. So by you hiding those feelings. Not expressing them, something may have stopped growing. It's like it's not going to come full term because you could be dealing with an emotional person who is based off of emotions. It's like, okay, you're not showing me how you feel. You know what I'm saying? It's like a motherfucker could talk all day, but okay, show it. You know what I'm saying? Make me feel it. This is all coming from, it was some type of ending. Death, period, transformation. All right? It was a real ending. That's what it's coming from. What caused the ending? No action, for one. Lies, deception, deceit. Motherfuckers is just bogus. Okay? That's what it's just coming from. 
Also, this is coming from, it could be third party energy, it could be another connection. Um, this could be a, like, a strong ass bond with a person, but somebody took their love back. Like, they like, you know what, give me my, give me my fucking heart back. Like, I don't want to deal with this shit. That's where this shit is coming from. It's coming from an ending. It's coming from an ending. It's like now emotionally, you still could be attached to this person. Mentally, you may have cut them out, but emotionally, they got you. It's like they got your fucking heart type shit. And it's like you may want freedom. Like you just want to be free, like mentally, emotionally, like all type of shit, right? But this person right now got you emotionally. They got you. You looking at the situation like... I don't know if you want to clear something up, have a conversation. You want to cut this person out. Like, you do want to cut this person out, I feel like. But it's like, how are you going to cut them emotions out? Like, them was real feelings. You know what I'm saying? This, this is real feelings right here. When you come in contact with the Queen of Cups, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio... It's like a mirror. They is gonna mirror your ass because it's water. So it's like whatever you fucking is is showing them. That's how they gonna show it to you. It's like you are gonna be looking in the mirror, fucking with their ass. If that shit is making sense, y'all. It's and that's let's not get on Scorpio because that shit gonna go real deep. So that shit gonna hit you when you least. It's like, okay, what just happened? Like, it's gonna be some type of tragedy. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna feel like that. Now, somebody may want to make amends. Like, may want to apologize. Because it was some type of separation or some type of breakup. It was like, okay, somebody, somebody may have, it was some type of argument. It was some type of argument, but it was like somebody wasn't ready for a new path. And they may want to try to like apologize because they like, they ain't ready to go out in the world and start on and start over type shit. They ain't ready for that. Now, this is all leading to, I hope this is making sense. This is all leading to somebody moving very slow, okay? They coming towards somebody slow. So, this could either be you moving towards somebody slow or somebody is moving towards you slow. But whoever is coming, they're cautious, okay? They're cautious. They're moving slow maybe because money, finances, okay? They could be stressed out or they worried for some reason. Something with being worried. Okay, whoever is coming towards you is some type of stress that's coming with their ass. Okay, whether it's finances, whether it's another relationship, it's just stressful. Okay, this person is bringing stress and trying to, can't juggle and, and can't make a decision. It's like unbalanced. Whoever is coming, unbalanced. Somebody is trying to manifest love into their life. But the way they're trying to do it is manipulation. Because it's like, how are you going to try to manifest love into your life where you're not even giving off love? It's like that. It's like they missing this element and trying to... Yeah, they missing love. They missing it. They missing this element. Trying to manifest it into their life. But the way they manifesting it, they can't manifest love into their life because it's it's the intent is bad. They got bad intentions dealing with love. So they could be they could be trying to bring love into their life for the wrong reasons. Okay. For the wrong reasons. Now, the person who is trying to, like, get bad intentions when it comes to love, 
they could be trying to they know they need to apologize for to somebody. It's some type of apology that needs to be that needs to happen or like they're going to try to make amends because they could be looking towards their future like they know they know damn well that this ain't going to get them nowhere where it's trying where they trying to manipulate the element of emotion. It's like playing on emotions. Trying to manifest love into their life. But it's a motive behind it. They could be trying to use people, play on people's emotions to get what they want. It's like whoever coming towards you, be careful. Whoever coming towards you is like stressed the fuck out and it's definitely dealing with money. But the way they trying to use love, it's bad intentions behind it. It's bad intentions. So I don't know if you found this out about a person. And then it's like, oh man, I fucked up type shit. You may try to go back and be like, apologize or make amends. Because it's like, you know what? Let me look towards my future. Like, it could go either way. It could go either way. Okay, that could either be this person finally realizing that this shit ain't working the way they trying to manifest it. Or you could been then came across this person, they tried to do that shit on you. You found out that shit ain't working and you try to make amends with somebody else. Because what's coming up is like two people. This is two, this is another person. Okay, but this is also you. All right, where... Y'all both is working out of y'all lower vibration, okay? Y'all both is like the same person. Y'all both is the same person, okay? But it's like y'all working out of y'all lower vibration, though. I'm talking, it could be stubborn. It could be just selfish. Like, just don't budge, don't budge type shit. Like, a motherfucker can't push you. Like, I'm standing right here, all right? Like... It's like that. Y'all both is like that. And that's unhealthy. That's unhealthy. That's toxic. Okay. Two people who's working out of their lower energy, but it's the same person. Like, you know what I'm saying? This could be like two, two people with the same moon signs. That's what this is. Two people with the same moon sign, but working out of the lower vibration of the, uh, of the element. And it's, and it's turning into toxic. I feel like dealing with y'all, dealing with you too, okay? It's some type of hope here, though. It's like learning from each other. It's like learning from each other. I feel like both of y'all need, it's like you mirroring this person. This person is mirroring back whatever you give them. So if you want to learn something about yourself, Look at this person. Look at this person's actions. How you think this person is? Like, just learn from this person because I feel like y'all will be like a power couple if y'all can work out of your higher vibration. Like, y'all will be unstoppable. But right now, it's like dealing with somebody, it's just toxic because it's like y'all working out of your lower vibration. But it's hope with y'all. It's like y'all both got hope in each other. It's just about growing. It's just about growing. So, yeah, y'all, that's what y'all like. Got Aries. So, if that shit just made sense. Damn, that shit was long as hell. If that shit just made sense, thumbs the fuck up. If you like the tip heaven, I truly appreciate y'all. Send from heaven, 225 at gmail.com at the PayPal. You already know. Peace out, y'all.